The college football world was a different place when Ted Tolner's 12th ranked USC Trojans hosted the number one ranked Washington Huskies. Pac-10 championship and a Rose Bowl berth on the line in mid-November of 1984. Coliseum and City was still recovering from having hosted the Olympics, and it was a defensive game for the agents. Early on, Tim Green found Randy Tanner for a big game. Kennedy Pola, later an SC coach, dropped it, but tackle James Fitzpatrick fell on it. And Steve Jordan, whose older brother Frank had won games in the 70s with last second kicks against both UCLA and Notre Dame, got the Trojans rolling from 51, the fourth such kick of the year, and sixth in his career to date. Tommy Haynes nails former Rose Bowl MVP Jacques Robinson for a loss. A great punt by Troy Richardson with good coverage set the Trojans up with great field position. Which was turned into another Jordan three-pointer. But Robinson gave the dogs the halftime edge seven to six. Second half, and future NFL coach Jack Del Rio sacks UW quarterback Paul Sicuro. The Trojans started a drive in the late third quarter with Green finding Timmy Ware for 23. Fourth quarter now, Freddie Crutcher, who ran 35 times for 116 yards, scored a big six. Jordan added another field goal, leaving things to the defense. And with nine minutes to go, All-American Tim McDonald picks one off. Washington, fourth and three. Tony Colorado applies the pressure. Hugh Millen took over at quarterback for the Huskies, but with a minute to go, Dwayne Jackson ends the suspense. The Trojans went on to defeat Ohio State at the Rose Bowl as Green threw two touchdown passes, Jordan kicked two more 51-yard field goals, and Del Rio was the MVP for the 84 Pac-10 and 85 Rose Bowl champion USC Trojans.